Uh, you're right. <laughs> All right. So there's three basic things I want you guys to focus on. They're what I call three to thrive. They're the three highest leverage, most powerful things that I can have you do. And they, um, they can almost seem overly simple, but they really pack a, a big punch. And there's something that you can organize into your life right away and that you can do pretty easily uh, for most people. So the first one is deep diaphragmic breathing. And that may sound like, what? You know, that sounds almost too simple, but deep diaphragmic breathing is the most important because oxygen is your most important resource. You can only live minutes without it, okay? And when you take deep diaphragmic breaths, it moves more toxicity out of your body than anything else, and it provides more energy than anything else. So you'll do more to detox your body through deep breathing than anything else you could possibly do. So what I'd, oh, sorry. What I'd like you to do is actually take um, three specific times during the day and this is something you can do together, you know, stop three different times during the day, take five to ten minutes to take ten slow deep diaphragmic breaths. The best times to do it is in the morning when you wake up and right before each meal because it'll actually help control your appetite and direct your cravings on to, to healthier food. Okay? And anytime you have a headache, anytime you're tired, anytime you're fatigued, any of that stuff, deep breathing is one of the quickest ways for you to boost energy. Okay? So how do you do it? I want you to exhale all of the air out of your lungs, like <sighs> Try to get it all out. And then put your palms on your navel and imagine that there's a balloon in your belly. And breathe in through your nose, into the balloon. So you see how my belly yeah. went out first and then my upper chest. What that does is it has you use your entire lung capacity. So you get the maximum amount of oxygen. And then when you exhale completely, like I talked about, you'll get out all of the carbon dioxide. So you get a full breath. You're going to feel a little lightheaded when you first start doing this because yeah. you're going to be getting a lot of oxygen to your brain. So just nice, slow breaths. You might want to lay down or sit down in the beginning. And uh, it's a great time for you to just kind of get yourself still. So, you know, if you have a place where you where you can go outside and do it, awesome. You know, if there's a good place in your house where you can sit together and do it, it's a great time. I don't know what your spiritual beliefs are. It's a great time for meditation, yep. a great time for prayer, or any of those kinds of things. Um, you know, it's all that. So that's the first thing I want you to do. Is that something you can do? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And you can start doing that immediately, yeah. like tonight before you go to bed. Yeah, you know, cool. And believe me, it will make a massive difference if you do that consistently over time. The second thing is super hydration with structured water. So by super hydration, I mean drinking more than the minimum your body needs. And your body loses about half of its weight in ounces every day through normal activity. And that doesn't account for additional stress and changes in weather and other things. So that's about 80 ounces a day for the average adult. So I want you to take uh, whatever your body weight is, and I want you to uh, divide it by 40 or, excuse me, 40 or 50 pounds and drink one liter or 32 ounces, or I should say one liter or 32 ounces, <laughs> for, every, for every 40 to 50 pounds of body weight. Now that's going to sound like a lot up front, right? So start somewhere so, and work your way up. But so that should drinking be your, a little more than a gallon of water a day. Yeah, that should be your goal. Like, you know, yeah, at least four of, liters. Yeah, yeah. yeah, at least four liters, which is about a gallon. Yeah. So um, now the quality of water that you use is important. So use a good quality, clean water, you know, and the most ideal situation is to have um, water filtration or water purification on your house, whether it's reverse osmosis or some kind of KDF purification system, something like that. But if you don't have any of that, then at least buy, you know, if you have water delivered, you can buy RO or distilled water or something. Now, you don't want to drink RO or distilled water by itself because it's dead water. It's had all of the, you know, life force yeah. taken out of it. So what's ideal is for you to structure that water with something that provides resources to the body. It seems confusing, but this is an example of what I mean. So this is a, a green drink. So this is a dehydrated vegetable powder that I mix with water. Okay. And it's a very high leverage strategy, especially when you're traveling. So you don't have time to juice, you don't have time to make smoothies and things. This is a great way to get an extra boost in. So we add this stuff to all of the water that we drink. So is that like wheat germ or is it's, that... Um, it's 49 different grasses, vegetables and sprouts like wheat grass and barley grass and camu grass and uh -huh. things like that that are dehydrated under low heat. And what's the name of it? Uh, this one's called Super Greens. And actually... But, yeah, yeah. My friend told... Here, I'll let you try some. Sue told me about that. Sue told me. Oh. Here, I'll make you guys one. And you can try and see. Most people think it tastes like a light green tea. Um, this is a drop that goes with it. It's basically an alkalizing drop. It has oxygen in it, so it adds extra oxygen to the water that you're drinking and electrons. You put about one drop per two ounces of water. 
and it makes the water wetter. If you ever if you yeah. drink a lot of water, one of the things you notice is that it kind of gets bloating. Yeah. And the reason why is because water molecules tend to cluster, they right. clump together. Yeah. So your body has a hard time really absorbing them at the cellular level. So what prime pH does is it breaks up those clusters by adding oxygen and electrons so the water becomes wetter and it hydrates you much faster. So you can drink a lot more water more easily. And this is what it looks like. It's just a powder. Yeah. Like that. Yep. Yeah. And you can see what's really great about this stuff is you can see it kind of kind of stacks up like metal yeah. shavings oh, yeah. on the end. That's yeah. the vibrational frequency that's in there. It's a very high energy um, supplement. So So you don't need much? No. Well, this is a small yeah. amount. Normally yeah. you'd make about a half a liter to a liter at a time. So yeah. you do half a scoop to one scoop per liter. Um, so I just put a little sprinkle in for this amount. Yeah. And you don't need to make it at a high concentration, but here you go, try that. Thank you. You're welcome. Every time you drink a liter of this with, um, with a scoop in it, it's the equivalent of eating about five pounds of, of vegetables. So if you add it to all the water that you're drinking, you're getting a really? lot of vegetables in your diet, a lot of extra greens, a lot wow. of extra chlorophyll. So the main resources you want to focus on are pure water, chlorophyll, alkaline minerals like calcium and such, uh, fiber, plant-based amino acids, and essential fatty acids. Those are the six things that your body needs. So between the, the hydration with the supplements and between the smoothies that I'm going to recommend, you're going to get all of those resources packed into a form that's very easy to digest but maximizes the resource. It's easy for your body to take it up, basically. Okay. Makes sense? And this is going to be in the information email? I'll send in the email. I'll have the strategy listed out. I'll have you know, information for you, links and things. I'm also going to give you guys a copy of our ebook, which has 75 recipes in it and a lot of background information. There's actually okay. two ebooks you'll get okay. and some other things there. So that's the second thing is really just to hydrate with alkaline fluid. You know, you probably heard about alkalizing water machines and things. It's a big deal. Alkaline water is a great thing to do, um, but it's only one spoke in a wheel. You know, drinking alkaline water is great, but you also need to give your body the raw materials it needs to build healthy blood, and that's the chlorophyll and the fats and the other things. Okay, so what do you think? Is it? It's good. Light? No, I, I can tell. I like this better than water. Yeah. I don't great. drink enough water. Excellent. But I'll drink this. Yeah. It gives you an opportunity. Yeah, it's kind of like tea. Yeah. You can add a little it's lemon the, to yeah. it or things like that, and it, you know, essentially what you do is add it to most of the water that you drink. Yeah. You know, throughout the day. So. Yeah. No, that's good. It's okay. like tea. Yeah, like a tea. So that's the second strategy. So one liter per, per uh, every 40 to 50 pounds, that's your goal. Some people like to break it up. I like to break it up into smaller amounts. So I do 16 ounces every two hours throughout the day starting at 8 a.m. So 8, 10, 12, 2, yeah. I do a 16 ounce. Keeps it easy for me. Yeah. Make sure I'm hydrating through the day in smaller amounts so I stay hydrated more consistently. Yeah. And here's a trick. You want to hydrate the most in the morning. Because when you wake up after sleeping all night, you're, you're dehydrated. And the first sign of dehydration is a lack of thirst.